I want to take a look at the way that scale degrees function in minor keys and how that might be different from the way that they function in major keys. And just to keep things simple, I've written out a C major scale, C major scale, and below it I've written out its relative minor, A minor. And I want to focus on two scale degrees in particular. Scale degree 1, which is the tonic, and scale degree 7, which is the leading tone. So we know that in C major, the tonic is scale degree 1, or C. And we know that in A minor, the tonic, or scale degree 1, is A. In fact, that's one of the things that sort of defines A minor as opposed to C major, is that tonic or starting note. And just going back to the major for a minute, we, we know that one of the really important relationships in between scale degrees in the major key is the, scale, is the relationship between the leading tone, or scale degree 7, and scale degree 8. That pull that happens between scale degree 7 and scale degree 8 is one of the really important features of a major scale. 7 to 8. And we know one of the things that makes that pull possible, or makes that pull a little bit more intense, is the fact that between scale degree 7 and scale degree 8, or between the B and the C, we have one of the two half steps that we have in a major scale. The other half step being between scale degree 3 and scale degree 4. But notice when we shift our tonic to A in the A minor scale, we still have that pull from scale degree 7 to scale degree 8, no doubt about that. If I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I still feel that pull. But notice the interval from scale degree 7 which is G to scale degree 8, is no longer a half step. It's now a whole step. So that, that feeling of pull is a little bit less intense. It gets softened out a little bit. And in fact, we'll just take a look here. What we've actually done is we've shifted in the minor scale, where our half steps lie. So instead of happening between scale degree 3 and 4, and 7 and 8, as they do in the major scale, our half steps now occur between scale degree 2 and 3, and between scale degree 5 and 6. Now, you may wonder what I'm talking about here because you may say, hold on a second. Um, you're talking about the exact same two notes, right? There's a half step in the major scale between B and C right here. That's the exact same B and C we have right here. And the half step that you're talking about between scale degree E and A F or scale degree 3 and 4 in the major, well, that's E and F. That's, those are the exact same two notes we have here. So those, those, that, those half steps are still there. They're just in a different place. And you're absolutely right about that. But by shifting our point of focus and by shifting where those half steps occur in the scale, we completely change the feeling and, and the function of those, of those scale degrees. I mean, that's, that's part of the mystery and part of the magic of, of this shift going from major to minor.